Hey guys, it's Amy, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Valentine's Day card for your friends, family, and loved ones in general. To make this card, you'll need one colored piece of paper and two white pieces of paper, preferably all the same size. You'll also need a paper plate, and you'll need paint. I chose red as my color, but you can experiment with many different colors. You'll also need three wooden pencils. Other items that you might need include scissors, a pencil, glue stick, and whiteout. And lastly, I would just have towels by your side just in case things get a little bit messy. So to get started, we're going to take our pink piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half like so. Make sure that the edges are firmly pressed together. Now we're going to trace lines with our pencil. I would highly advise to use an eraser so that you can erase lines and make your card neater. As you see here, on the folded edge of the paper, we're going to draw half a heart. Now with our scissors, we're going to cut the heart, but not completely. We're going to cut it until the curve of the heart stops. So right about there. After you've cut on the line, just erase some of the extra lines that may still be on the paper. Once you've done that, we're just going to fold the paper so that it kind of makes a heart shape. Now we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Now going to the previous side that we were on before, we're going to take our pencil and we're going to draw kind of the same thing within the heart that we did. Like we did with the bigger heart, we're going to use our scissors to cut the curve. Again, just erase any extra marks that there may be on the paper. Now, just fold the mini heart on one side of the paper and on the other. When you open the paper, it should look like this. To give this look the pop-up effect, just simply take the hearts that you cut out and use the crevices to pull it towards the center, like this. Your card should neatly fold and the outside should kind of look like a glove. This is how the pop-up should look once you open the card. If you want to make the hearts pop up a little bit more, you could always paint them with white out or white paint. The previous pop-up I showed you was vertically, so I'm going to show you just another pop-up that you could do if you wanted to make a horizontal card. So first you want to trace a rectangle-like shape through the crevice of the card. For this word pop-up, I'm spelling the word love. So the first letter in love is L, and I'm tracing the letter L right underneath the rectangle that I drew. Now I'm going to draw another rectangle for my next letter, which will be O. 
I'm going to just make the rectangle a little bit longer than the other one so that there's a little variation in the length of the strips. After you draw your letter O, you're going to draw two more rectangles for the letter V. Finally, you're going to draw your last rectangle for the letter E. This is how your final tracing should look like. Next, what I did was I erased the top and bottom lines of each letter or shape, I guess you could say. I did this because you do not want to cut those areas. You want to cut the perimeter of the shape except for the top and bottom. To help cut the shapes, um, something that really helped me was kind of like scrunching the paper a little bit so I could create a hole and then make a line from there. Just repeat cutting the outer perimeter of each shape. Just be sure that you don't cut inside the shape. Some of the lines that you might see within the shape are used for folding. Once you're finished cutting, just take the rectangle strips and pop them upwards. This is how the final pop-up looks. For this pop-up, I decided that I should use whiteout just to make the letters a little bit brighter since they're kind of hard to see when you open it. And this is the second pop-up insert. So now we're going to take our white sheet of paper and we're going to glue the insert to the inside of the paper. So what I did was I just lined the edges of the outer side of the card with the glue stick. Also make sure that you line up the white paper with the inside corners of the pink paper. Now for the cover, we're going to take our paint, whichever color that you chose, and we're going to use our wooden pencil to make little dots on our paper. By the time you're done, your dots should fill up most of the middle section of the cover of your card. Now we will take our last sheet of paper and fold it in half so we make a last layer to our card. of our card we're gonna draw a heart shape now we're gonna cut that heart out make sure that when you're cutting you only cut the first side of the paper you don't cut both sides together You can also trim the edges if you need to. Once you're done, glue the inside of this card alike to what we did with the other white paper. 
it's okay if you get some paint inside the cover because you won't be able to see the inside. It's only going to be on the outside. Once the glue is evenly spread, just place your card inside the little cover that we made and fold over the front side to complete the heart. And finally, to touch up my heart, I decided to draw a true design over the heart. The best part about making a card is that you can transform it in any way that you want. So that's my Valentine's Day card. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to watch Cassidy's most recent video, which is about how to spread love and be happy in your 2016. Like always, her videos are amazing, and they inspire me, and I'm sure it will inspire you too. So, I hope you guys liked this video, and I'll see you later.